Welcome to Lightboard Learning, where we break down coaching principles. Now today, I'm going to talk about accumulation versus intensification, and I'm going to illustrate that through a squat training day. So why does a coach even need to understand the difference between accumulation and intensification, which are training phases that are used in a periodized program, which is essentially breaking down a long program design into blocks of time where you're focusing on specific characteristics of training. So accumulation is typically higher volume, higher repetition, high time under tension, so a long time under load, lots of slower movements, and thinking about working on skill development and addressing any motor control issues, any movement weaknesses, any imbalances or asymmetries that a client might have. On the flip side, we have intensification, which is where you can drop volume down, increase intensity or load or effort of the work that's being done and reduce that focus on skill, on fixing motor control and instead really focus on building absolute strength. So to illustrate how this would play out on a training session uh, on this day, my client is doing some squatting. I have up here on the left accumulation and I have up here on the right my intensification day. I'm going to walk you guys through this just so you understand why I did what I did in my program designs. So up here I have my accumulation day and a really important thing to note is that with a beginner they're only gonna be doing accumulation. They need to work on motor control and muscle endurance, and they're not at the point where they're ready to do more intense strength training. So for my beginners, they live with this kind of stuff. It's only when someone gets to an intermediate or an advanced level that they're going to get into training sessions like this, where they're doing more intense contractions. So up here, I have back squat. Slow tempo, so three, one, X, one. That is a lot of time under tension there. And they are doing five working sets of two, two, two clusters at 80%. So that's a ton of volume there. To complement that, they're doing some accessory work of a rear foot elevated squat with dumbbells at a 2010 tempo. And that's superset with a barbell hip thrust at 20X1. Both are for eight to 10 reps of three sets. So again, a lot of volume. We're gonna then get into some more accessory work. So they're doing a back rack yoke walk, four rounds of 20 meters. And that is gonna be a really good accessory piece for working on uh, terminal knee extension and making sure that they are you know, braced under load. And then finally finishing it with a bit of core endurance work, some side plank rotations. Again, nice high volume, 10 reps for three sets. Now, stark contrast, up over here, my client is now in an intensification phase. So they are doing a back squat at 20x0 for two to three reps for five sets. And then they're closing it out simply with a, a safety bar reverse lunge at 20x0, seven to nine reps for three sets. So much less work, but because of the uh, lower volume of work they're doing, they're gonna be able to really increase the intensity and go much heavier and get a much harder dose response from that. So as someone gets into intermediate or advanced, it is important to recognize that accumulation versus intensification difference because it is manipulating that volume and intensity throughout someone's training year that is gonna help you continue to drive adaptation uh, for a lifetime.